Um, Dad? Yeah? What is the mind? Relax. What is mind? No matter. What you just saw was the first ever clip from The Simpsons. And they started off as just a series of shorts in the Tracy Ullman show, but then they got their own series and became arguably the most important show the last 30 years. With 762 episodes and counting, $8 billion sold in merchandise, and the franchise today is valued at $12 billion. But now knowing The Simpsons is entering its 35th year and it's actually older than me, there's just been one question looming in my mind. And that's that what it would look like if it was actually made today in the year 2024 instead of the year 1989. Because looking at it coming out in 19 1989, there's been so much to go on with the economy and technology and just our culture as a whole, the show really couldn't come out and look exactly the same way, even though it's still going on. And there's so many questions like, would Homer still work in a nuclear plant? Would Bart and Lisa still be kids? Would Apu still arguably racist? And so many more that have been running through my mind. So I thought today I'd just do a quick top 10 list for how The Simpsons would change if it was made in 2024 versus 1989. And doing it, we're going to look at the economy, technology, and culture to try and make those decisions. So with that, I'm Charles Peralta, and let's go. Number one. The couch gag is gone, which the couch gag is probably the most iconic part of The Simpsons where it is the introduction to the show and almost anything can happen. But the reason that scene wouldn't be done today is because of how TVs are today versus the late 80s. And that's because when The Simpsons were made in 1989, they were supposed to have a 13 inch TV, which would be $425 in 1989 money, which adjusted for inflation would be $765 today. But today due to LCD technology making flat screens possible, a 60 inch TV only costs about $300 today, depending on what brand you go for. And that's changed the entire decor for a home where in the 80s and 90s, the average home only had one to two TVs, but now it's three to four. And now with things like iPads, laptops, and many more, the idea of a family all getting together and watching TV just really doesn't happen in the year 2024. So if The Simpsons were made today, instead of a couch gag, I think they'd instead move to a dinner gag, where the plot would be that Marge brings something to the table, and every time it's something different to signify what the part of the episode would be. And that really is just how much the house has changed, where back in the day it used to be the living room that was the most invested in room, but now the kitchen is. So blame the prices. TVs, but in 2024, the couch gag would just be dated. Number two, Apu is Dr. Hibber. 1.3% of America is Indian today compared to 0.8% in the year 1989. And there's also been a very different perception of how the public sees the Indian population in America, where in the 80s and 90s, they were making less than the average white person. But now cut to 2024, and the perception of Indian Americans has changed quite a bit, where the median household makes $151,000 a year compared to 81,000 for white Americans. And Indian Americans are actually the highest income group in the United States. And today, the Indian population in America is also very big in the medical community, making up 9% of doctors, making them the third biggest biggest race to be doctors behind white and Jewish people. And looking at The Simpsons today versus 1989, the character of Dr. Hibber is pretty dated. And that's because Dr. Hibber was based on Bill Cosby's character in The Cosby Show, which today most kids and teenagers wouldn't know besides Bill Cosby's scandals. So looking at The Simpsons today, they'd probably do something along the lines of trying to have the character of Apu be a doctor. And that just begs the question of who runs the Quickie Mart. And my guess there will be the nerdy teenage character that we see in the show recurring, but they've never really given a name to. Whoops! Fell in the fryer! I'll get it out. Oh! Oh! So basically, if it was made today, there'd be a much more positive opinion of Apu from the Indian community versus now. Number three. Homer doesn't work at a nuclear power plant. And getting into this one, Homer Simpson's job wasn't originally supposed to be a nuclear power plant employee, where the original idea that Mac Roning had was that Homer was supposed to be Krusty the Clown, and there was supposed to be a running gag that Bart Simpson admired Krusty, but not Homer, and didn't know that his father was Krusty. And that's actually the reason the character is almost the exact same design, minus the makeup and outfits. This ain't makeup! But developing the show, Mac Roning realized that would be too difficult to write over and over again, so instead they focused on advocacy with Homer Simpson's job. And that's because in 1986, Chernobyl happened and there was this big action against nuclear power, and from that, the idea of someone as stupid as Homer Simpson working in a nuclear power plant was supposed to be as a symbol against nuclear power. But now cut to 2024, and there's a lot more support for nuclear power with people like Greta Thunberg being against the closing of nuclear power plants, saying we bad for the planet. And there's also been a virtual plateau for nuclear power in this country, where in 1989 it was making up 19 to 20 percent of all power, where today it's 17 to 18 percent. What has changed in the last 35 years is fracking, where today 40 percent of electricity in the United States comes from natural gas, where it was under 5 percent in 1989. So for Homer Simpson's job, he wouldn't be working at the nuclear power plant, but instead probably working at a bunch of oil fields doing fracking, and Mr. Burns wouldn't be his boss, but it would be the crazy rich Texan. Number four, Mo is a woman. 
And explaining this one, when was the last time you saw a bar that didn't serve food? And the reason is because in the 90s and 2000s, there was a crackdown on drunk driving, and because of that, they made it harder for restaurants and bars to get liquor license. So one requirement for bars to get liquor licenses were for them to start serving food because it was deemed safer if people had something to eat versus just drink. Because that the entire way bars function has changed quite a bit, where they do welcome families much more, women feel more comfortable going there, and it's not just a group of men sitting there getting drunk. So because of this, if The Simpsons were made a day, I think they'd make Mo a woman that's more condescending to Homer, and there would be a bigger group of people showing up to Moe's. And because of that, I think they would change a few things around where a character like Barney would probably be working at the bar as a cook instead of being the resident drunk, <coughs> and they wouldn't have as many characters like the late Larry the Barfly. So this one is a bit of a stretch, but ultimately I feel if the show were made today, Homer would go to a bar less often, and Moe probably wouldn't be a male. Number five, either Edna Krabappel or Miss Hoover are men. And getting into this one, 11% of elementary school teachers today are male. And that's actually up massively from the year 1989, where it was not even 3% during that time period. And obviously 11% is still pretty low, but the reason for that was there were so many men getting teaching degrees in the 2000s that now many of them have started working at elementary schools. So my guess is if The Simpsons were made today, Lisa's teacher, Miss Hoover, would probably be a man because originally they had no personality for her because they couldn't come up with anything that was different from Mrs. Krabappel. And having a male teacher would put in a different series of of jokes where they probably would have a relationship similar to Lisa and the Substitute where Dustin Hoffman voiced it. And that idea was even discussed after Edna Krabappel's voice actress Marsha Wallace passed away where they were talking about the idea of bringing in a male teacher, so this one definitely seems pretty likely. Number 6, Rainier Wolfcastle is Dwayne Johnson. In 1989, when The Simpsons came out, the biggest action star in the world was Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was the influence for The Simpsons character Rainier Wolfcastle. But today, Arnold Schwarzenegger just really isn't as relevant, where a lot of teenagers have never seen any of Arnold's movies. Meanwhile, Dwayne Johnson is definitely the action star of this generation. So if The Simpsons were made today, they'd probably have an action star called something like The Boulder, which would represent Dwayne Johnson, and Arnold Schwarzenegger wouldn't be mentioned at all. Number 7. Mayor Quimby is Bill Clinton. And looking at The Simpsons character Mayor Quimby, he is visibly supposed to be a mix of President John F. Kennedy as well as his brother Senator Ted Kennedy. Where Quimby's kind of this trust fund politician who enjoys cheating on his wife and also has a New England accent. Good lord, I'm an abomination! But the reason that wouldn't happen today is the Kennedy family just isn't as relevant, where the youngest JFK voter in 1960 would be 85 years old today. So my guess is if The Simpsons were made today, they'd base the character of Mayor Quimby off of Bill Clinton because they would still be able to use the whole womanizing joke, but would have something much more relevant. And the second is Mayor Quimby's wife would be a much more relevant character, and they'd probably base her off of Hillary Clinton regularly nagging Bill. Number 8. Barr and Lisa are in high school. One reason people really love the show Stranger Things is it does depict childhood before Stranger Danger began, showing kids in the 70s and 80s who had much more freedom to do things like go to their friends' houses and go on bikes without parental control. And that does reflect the nature of how Barr and Lisa are able to move around so much in the early seasons of The Simpsons, but that really wouldn't happen today where kids going to a park or going to different places on their own would have their parents sent to jail now. And that was really due to a wave of Stranger Danger laws in the 90s and 2000s with strict curfews and other restrictions on kids. And this has even been referenced in a couple newer episodes of The Simpsons where they have made fun of the fact that Barr and Lisa still have this massive amount of freedom which doesn't really represent the world now. So because of this, if The Simpsons were made today, I think they'd go for the route of making Barr and Lisa high school students where Bart Simpson, instead of having a skateboard, would be more focused on his car or motorcycle. And Lisa, I'd guess they'd make her around the age of 14 and that would actually work much better with the activist culture and the character she's become. And personally, I'd really hate this change, but I think they would actually do it if the show was done today. Number 9. Barr and Lisa's friends are more diverse. And the reason The Simpsons are yellow is because Matt Groening said he wanted people to flip through the channels and see yellow people on the screen and know immediately they're watching The Simpsons, saying no other show would ever do it and it just made perfect sense. And creating friends for Barr and Lisa, the first friend was made with the character of Milhouse in 1988 for a Butterfinger commercial before the show began in 1989. And the reason they were doing Butterfinger commercials was to actually pay for the series. And even the reason they gave Milhouse blue hair was because they wanted to be similar to the Butterfinger logo and that was his introduction as a character. But today, nearly all of Bart and Lisa's friends are yellow, which means they're white, which wouldn't really be reflective of how a lot of streaming services and networks work today. So just some guesses here, I think they would actually make Milhouse black, and they'd also try to make him into animate a symbol that he is still kind of a nerdy character. I also am pretty confident for some reason they'd make Sherry and Terry Asian. And I think they would introduce a new character that we've not seen before that would also be Hispanic. And this isn't a race change, but I think today they wouldn't have Nelson be the bully, but instead have Martin be more of a bully being this condescending, nerdy individual. And that's because a lot of studios have gone that route with the biggest example being the character of Flash in the Spider-Man movies where originally he was supposed to be more of a bully but now he's a nerdy bully. 
So just a few guesses here, but I definitely think there'd be a little bit more diversity and also some character tweaks as well. And finally, number 10, Marge has a job. And the character of Marge Simpson was pretty dated when she came out in 1989, where the goal was to have the housewife character, even though 63% of moms at that time were working. But today things have gone up even more, where 74% of moms are working full time, and then moms with older children have an 88% employment rate. So if they did make Marge Simpson say, she would 100% be working some sort of full time job. And honestly, making this video, I couldn't really figure out what that job should be, where the most common jobs for moms are nurse and teacher, but I just can't see your character reflecting that, so for anyone watching, just leave a comment of what you think your job would be. And finally, The Simpsons is one of my favorite shows ever, so I kind of just wanted to do this video to apply a little bit of economics and technology to see how the show would look today, just because I thought it was kind of fun. But I hope you enjoyed it, and with that, I'm Charles Prowl, subscribe to learn something.